One Nation leader Pauline Hanson denies a rift in her party after one of her senators, Brian Burston, announced he would back the federal government's company tax cuts. Senator Hanson had withdrawn her party's support for the proposal last week. Political reporter Matthew Doran joins us now from Parliament House. So, Matthew, Senator Hanson doesn't seem too pleased with her colleagues' behaviour. Certainly not, Roz. She held a press conference here in Parliament House a short time ago where she said that Brian Burston was fully aware of her plans to announce One Nation would be pulling its support for the coalition's company tax cut package, uh, arguing that they had welched on a deal with her and they also weren't doing enough to pay down the nation's debt. Uh, but uh, Brian Burston has told this morning's Australian newspaper that he was blindsided by the decision. So they do seem to be at odds there over exactly who knew what and when. Uh, but Pauline Hanson says that there is no rift in the party, but it is a united front and that they will be voting together as a bloc, which does seem to fly in the face of Brian Burston's uh, position. She says she hasn't had a chance to talk to the senator because he has been uh, off sick, uh, but is trying to discuss the matter further with him. And it does come after uh, last week the, the news that Brian Burston had been dumped as One Nation's whip in favour of Senator Peter Giorgio from W. Uh, there's some tension uh, around whether or not Brian Burston will get top billing on the One Nation Senate ticket in New South Wales uh, and uh, this could be further evidence of uh, some tension between him and his party leader, someone who he's been loyal to for many, many years. Uh, but Pauline Hanson is trying to put on a, uh, a, a united front in front of the cameras at the very least, despite the fact that her senator has seemingly gone rogue. He's made a decision that he doesn't support the corporate tax cuts, so be it. But Senator Giorgio and myself are very strong on this. We are united in our vote with this. Senator, right. it's hard to show that you're united when your boss just walked away. Actually, I didn't realise she walked away, so I think I'll be walking away too now. Thank you very much. So, Matt, how much of a boost is this for the Coalition? Well, it gives them one extra vote on the company tax cuts, but they still are short of that magic number of 39, uh, given the fact that uh, the former independent Steve Martin joined the coalition earlier this week. That takes the coalition's numbers in the Senate to 31. They have got the support of Corey Bernardi, Fraser Anning and David Lionhelm, and now with, uh, with Brian Burson, that takes them to 35, still four short. But Matthias Cormann is confident that he can still win over some of the detractors of this policy, including Pauline Hanson and her party, despite the fact that they do seem to be uh, pulling away or, or remaining steadfast in their opposition to the bill. I was, the government was, uh, disappointed uh, when uh, Senator Hanson uh, decided uh, to walk away uh, from what had been a very firm private and public commitment so that One Nation would support uh, this uh, very important economic reform. I continue to talk uh, to Senator Hansen and to others uh, on the crossbench uh, to persuade them. The Finance Minister and the Government's Chief Negotiator in the Senate, Matthias Cormann, saying that the deal is not all lost, but it does seem like the remaining crossbenchers are still not for changing their position on the Coalition's company tax cuts. Ros? Thanks, Matthew.